YouTube, what's going on? KT Medic here, and today we're up at the headquarters because I found out something kind of cool. About headquarters. There's balls! I never knew where the balls and stuff came from, but there's one up here by this gun. You jump on this little block or from that concrete onto that pillar and then jump up here and you get a little ball. There is also two more. You want this ball, buddy? You want a ball? Do you want a ball? You want to touch my ball? Just one. But there's two more. One of the jumps is really hard. Everybody says the other one is hard, but... Mugster, here. Catch. There you go. You have a ball. Have fun, friend. So another one... This is, for me, this is the hardest one. Um, I don't know why. Jump up here. Jump up here. And then jump up there. Okay, so I'm not going to stand here and do that for 30 minutes because it just makes me mad. Then you walk across there to the corner there. Jump a little bit left. There's a barrier on the right side. You have to land on that pillar. Jump up there. Walk over here. Get as far back as you can, jump on that pipe, jump on that ledge, and hop up on top, and you can get up top, and there's a ball and a Kilroy Easter egg up on top of that guy. The third ball is actually over here up on top, or inside, the score streaks platform here. So you have to jump up on onto the side, make your way around the edge, and try not to jump off. What is happening? No! Okay, so you jump on that hook. That hook. That peg makes the next jump a lot easier. Jump on that bar. And then you just jump up onto the next hook. And then up onto the top. Let's see if I can do it. This one is the second easiest for me for whatever reason. A lot of people say it's the hardest. This is the hardest jump for me. But I seem to be getting a little better at it today. So now we're on the peg, sort of. There's a barrier there. And we jump up here, and then make our way over here. And you may have to, if you can't jump, you may have to come out just a little bit, and then just jump up on the edge. Maybe a couple more jumps, and then hop in, and then the ball is right here. That's all the balls. And so I was going through trying to do the, the headquarters um, challenges. I didn't know that there were actual challenges, but there there are, and it's under game modes. And it's actually pretty cool um, that you can do things. There's three different things you can do in the firing range. I can't do all of them. I've done the watermelon one. I think the watermelon one is the most common because you can do it by yourself. You basically shoot all the targets over here on the right side. Um, but it's pretty cool. And then there is a 25 foot drop and I think a 38 foot drop that you have to get is one of the challenges. So if you get on top at the very, 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 very top up there, jump down to here, boom, you will actually pass both of those challenges. But this jump is terribly difficult and it infuriates me trying to do it. Or, or I could just do it like the first try. So come over here. You want to aim for kind of the right side. See how I hit the barrier with my right shoulder? And then jump up here. You may have to jump a couple times. Usually, I get it the first try on there. But sometimes you have to kind of wiggle, wiggle to get up there. So back up as far as you can. And then you jump to that pipe right there onto the ledge. And then this sometimes takes a couple jumps. And then squeeze by the little barrier that's over here. And then you are on top. And it's super cool. Make sure you don't fall off though, because that would suck. You worked that hard. See, Kilroy was here. And there's a ball. Usually there's a ball up here. There it is. Ball right there. So if you're looking for a ball, this, this place and the tower over there 
is usually where there will be a ball. Everybody knows about that ball, I think, by now, and that's the easiest jump to make. So, yeah, fun stuff. There's also a hammer up here that I have no idea what it actually means. But we'll share, we'll share the love. So we'll throw somebody the ball. Yes! We'll share another ball with somebody. But you actually get achievements for finding all the balls. Like one at a time. So if you find one, you get an achievement. If you find another, you get another achievement. If you find all three, you get another one. So that's pretty cool. Who wants a ball? Do you want a ball? Somebody? Hello, people! Ball for you! Oh no. That one may respawn. Let's see if it respawns. Not yet. Somebody's gonna have to come get it themselves. Some lobbies, you can't get up here because there's too many people trying. And that jump is pretty difficult. So this is the jump I was talking about. So if you just run this way, jump off! And then crunch and crack your legs open. So, yeah, that's the, the highest place you can fall from. It's pretty cool. It is, this jump is just really hard to make. And you want to make sure you don't hit your right shoulder on the edge of the wall there or it'll just kind of push you off. So let's, let's hop into a game and see what happens. But if we go down to challenges, down over to game modes, down to headquarters, I don't know what this dude is saying. All right, that's it guys. So now you know where the balls are. Now you know a couple more challenges in headquarters if you didn't know them already. And now you can practice making the jumps to get on top of headquarters, on top of the score streak area and get those balls and play catch with your friends. I literally just played catch with a guy for like 30 minutes and we were trying to alley-oop stuff and it was insane. But I've probably met more people playing catch with them with these balls than I have like my entire time playing any Call of Duty. So it's actually kind of fun. A lot of people don't really pay attention, but every once in a while you'll get a couple people that actually do want to play catch or just kind of hang out and chat and learn how to do the jumps or whatever. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I'm KT Medic. I'm